Hey there all, welcome back to another video. In the previous one, I have shown you how to create this very simple cloud cover in Maya. In this one, let's actually take a step back and see whether if there are any major changes which are still left out to be done in this shot, uh, whether if it's related to modeling or texturing or the clouds or anything. And to do this, let's put in all of our uh, reference images or reference files which we have into the final scene and see what we have. So I'm saving this file out as my final reference file. I can go ahead and open the actual scene. Now once I open the scene, you should be able to see that I have the cloud cover, I have the landscape, everything coming in. And let me go ahead, take a play blast. Okay, so I'll go ahead, take a play blast of this. It might take some time, so I'll just fast forward this part of the video. Now once this play blast is ready, let's actually see what kind of changes have to be made and whether or not it's worth the time. And also we can probably increase the level of details in some locations and remove them from others. So let's go ahead and see exactly what direction the whole thing is going in. Okay, so now I have my play blast and Going through it, I spot a couple of issues, a few major ones, and I want to address the most important issues first. So, the first thing I'm observing is that what I'm holding in the real footage is a cylinder, whereas the landscape, which is a flat plane, uh, at the edges has come right near the fingers. And it would definitely, no matter what I try to do, would not make the fingers look like they're actually holding a flat plane unless. I want to do something like actually edit the footage itself within my compositing package. So therefore, I want to make sure I have cylindrical sections which I can actually hold on the landscape at the edges first. Now, after that, another issue which I'm noticing is that it's at this location, you can see this landscape portion is actually cutting in to the finger itself. So I actually want to edit that portion out. Uh, so I want to basically cut this portion out of the landscape so it doesn't actually go through the finger. So I want to just basically make sure that the compositor's work is reduced as much as possible. And obviously I'm the compositor for this. But when you're working on something, make sure that people who are going to work after you in the pipeline, basically compositors and other post-production guys, they don't have to struggle harder to do something which you could have done very simply. So just edit small things, do five minutes extra work or half an hour or an hour's extra work and save them a day's worth of extra work. So two things I want to edit. First thing I want to go ahead make sure it looks like I, the landscape is a cylinder at the edge and also I want to remove this un unwanted extra portion of the landscape cutting through the hand itself. So, in the next video, let's go ahead and make these edits.